I'm going to share with you a book that is called Bacon and Me. And guess who Bacon is? <laughs> the what? <laughs> what? Which one do you think is bacon? Uh, the pig. The pig, absolutely. <laughs> it would be funny for a little girl to be called bacon, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so bacon, and the little girl's name is Annabelle. And bacon and Annabelle have an adventure together. And bacon is actually going to be the inspiration for our painting today. So bacon, and I'll show you a couple of other pictures here. Bacon doesn't enter the scene until a little bit later because what the story is, is Annabelle's mom has to go to a meeting and Annabelle is going to go stay with her grandmother and she calls her grandmother Graham. So she doesn't really want to go because she thinks she's going to Nowheresville. And in Nowheresville, Annabelle doesn't have any phone service and can't get on her phone the whole time there. So she's really bummed out that she can't call her friends and stay in touch with them. But she doesn't have a choice. She's going to go stay with Graham. So she gets in the car with mom and they arrive at Graham's and Graham comes out running to greet them, smiling and waving with bacon right there beside her. She, bacon is her chubby pink pig right on her heels. And Graham says, oh, Anna Lee is her name. I was saying her name wrong, sorry. Anna Lee, you've grown, honey. Graham squeezed me half to death while Bacon looked on, and I swear he smiled with that snout of his. <laughs> Bacon and I are thrilled that you'll be staying us while your mom is away, aren't we, Bacon? Does she actually expect Bacon to answer, I wondered. So... Mom leaves, she backs out of the driveway, and I was stuck way out in the country in a town with no stoplight and no cell phone service, but Graham had plans. And I learned one of them while eating my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. One, we don't eat ham sandwiches because that would hurt Bacon's feelings. I smiled and nodded that I couldn't wait, but honestly, there couldn't be much to see in Nowheresville. The next morning, and look at this picture. Can you see it okay? Graham oh. gets on her helmet. And what are they getting on to? It looks like a car from where I... Actually, where I see. it's a motorcycle with a side car on it. So Anna Lee starts getting into the sidecar, and Graham says, oh, no, honey, that's bacon spot. <laughs> and would you put him in? So she says, I picked up the little porker. Barely. He weighed a ton. And Graham said, heavy, isn't he? He eats like a pig. And Graham <laughs> laughed out loud. Actually, I did too. So anyway, the story goes on and Graham and Annabelle, or Anna Lee rather, and Bacon go into town and there's Anna Lee sitting behind Graham on the Harley Davidson motorcycle. So she said, we're going to be the laughing stock of the town. So we're going to draw bacon today. And actually, I have him sketched out for us. We're going to create our own version of bacon. So here's what you're going to need in front of you. And let's just double check you have everything you need. A pencil. You have a pencil? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, hold on just a sec. Okay. 
I'll wait. Okay, I'm ready, I think. Okay, and Janera, are you have a pencil ready? Yeah. Okay, all righty. And you have your piece of paper? Yeah. Okay, and do you have a black a little sharpie or something that you can draw the outline of the of uh, bacon with the sharpie. Uh, can you just hold on for a second? Yes, you do. Okay, don't. Uh, okay. We don't have it right this second. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. And then the other thing you're gonna need is a paintbrush. Yes. And some water to clean your brush when we use different colors. Okay. okay. But we're gonna start with the pencil. So let's do that first. And actually you'll do yours in pencil. I'll do mine in marker so you can see it better through the picture that's on the screen. So just watch for right now. First, we're gonna make a big kind of a moon shape circle for Bacon's face. Okay, we got his face. Come down a little bit from the top because we're going to put a hat on him. Yes. Okay, now we're going to put his ears. So kind of down to the side of each uh, side of his head, we're going to draw a curve that comes to a point and then comes back down on the other side. And the same thing on the other side. Another ear comes to a point at the end and then back down to his head. Now we're going to give Bacon some eyes. So let's do a great big kind of a upside down U shape for one eye. And then what we're going to do at the bottom of that eye is give him a little fat cheek that goes up in a circle right below his eye. And then we'll give him another eye. And another little cheek on that side. Okay. Okay. And tell me if I'm going too fast, if I need to slow down, okay? It's fine. Okay. Now, let's give him a nose right in the center, just a little bit, kind of even with his cheeks. Let's make a little circle there. And we'll put some nostrils, some big, big nostrils into his nose. And then a line on one side going back that's kind of curved and another line on the other side that's curved the other way. And then we'll just put some wrinkles in it. And let's go back and put his eyes in the places we made to build his eyes. We'll do one on the right with a little circle in it for a sparkle, and one on the left a little circle in it for some sparkle. Now he needs a mouth, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay, so let's draw a big mouth curved all the way. Kind of looks like a mustache for <laughs> giving <laughs> And then a line down at the bottom for his bottom lips. Okay, and we'll give him a little line at the end of his smile just to kind of emphasize that. Now let's make his lips a little bit wider, just kind of a line right across and beside what you already drew. Just add some lips on there for him. And then let's give him a tongue. Put the tongue right in there. Okay, now we have his head just about finished. Now we need to give him a body. So let's start like about right there on his neck. 
and come around with a big curve. It looks kind of partially like a C, the letter C. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Come all the way around with a big curve. Now we're going to give him we're going to, I'm going to do the, a bandana for him. So let's draw the little bandana on here around his neck, all the way around. And we'll put a little knot over here on this side where the bandana is tied. Now we'll finish Bacon's front legs. We'll make another curve that's a C, and then another one for one leg. It's the kind of the backwards part of that. They kind of look like parenthesis marks. Okay. Okay. Going too fast? No, you're still fine. Okay. All right, there. And there for his other leg. Now Bacon needs some feet. So let's go back over all the way to the left side for his back foot and give him a little pig foot on there. Then over to the next one, another little pig foot. Another little pig foot. And then the final pig foot. And then we need a line right in the center that curves around that's his tummy, finish his body. And then we want to give him a curly tail. Pigs have curly tails, don't they? <laughs> so let's go over to the right side and draw a line that loops around into a curl. Come back around, all the way back around and back to connect to his body. Now he has a little curly tail. And I think I've told you we're going to put a hat on Bacon because Bacon wore lots of different hats. See the one that's on here that's a top hat. And then he has one on the back that is what's called a beanie with a propeller on it. So I thought we'd give him the beanie with the propeller. So let's draw just inside his left ear like a big half circle. It kind of looks like a bowl sitting on his head. And we'll put like the little beanie round top on it and then draw propellers. And when he goes on, out in the wind, his propellers spin. <laughs> Have you ever seen a hat like that? No. <laughs> We're mostly out there. Okay, and I thought we'd give his beanie hat some stripes. So put some stripes on them and we'll color in those stripes later. And one little touch that we'll do is to add in like the inside of his ear and do kind of like a smaller version of the outside of his ears, just in the center of it. Now, if you had any pencil marks on there before you start, we start painting this, erase any pencil marks that you made that you don't want to show. Maybe I was the only one who had pencil marks. <laughs> Did you all do yours in marker yet? Uh, no. Okay, so go over it all now in marker. You know, one thing I think would be fun to do is to give Bacon some eyelashes too. Let's give him a couple of eyelashes here. Okay, are you there? No, not yet. Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> I don't want to rush you. You know, one of the things that happens if you start painting down at the bottom first, 
versus painting up at the top is it's really hard to paint around that without getting your hand in the wet paint. So when we start, we're going to start at the top and do his ears, then his head, then his body. And then we can turn our painting upside down to get to his beanie or his little hat. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you'll have wet paint and a smeared picture. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Janair, are you ready? Yes, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah. Okay, all right. Now you pick out what color you want. What color are pigs usually? Uh, sometimes they're black. Sometimes, sometimes, they're, but, but sometimes, sometimes they're black, sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're gray, sometimes they're uh, oh, brown. So, what color would you like to paint your pig? It doesn't have to be the color I paint mine. What do you think you'd like your pig to be? I'm doing brown, I think. Might be black. Yeah, it's black. I, I, okay. there, there, there's black and brown, so it's okay. hard. Okay. I think I'm going to do mine pink on his ears. I don't have a pink. Okay, well then brown's fine. I did use a pink marker to outline it, though. Oh, okay. So do one ear, then do the other ear. Remember, we don't want to have to lay our hand in the wet paint. And you have to, if your brush gets too dry, then just keep putting water on it and re-rubbing it into the paint. I think I'm going to put the center of my ear a darker pink. And any time you change colors, it's important to wash your brush off really well to get the old color out. <laughs> what color did you make yours, Kendall? Uh, black. It, black. I was trying to make it brown, but uh, it I couldn't because because I thought the black was brown, but ah, okay. We know there's black pigs and brown pigs. Oh, uh, yeah, right. And usually when they're babies, if they're pink, they're usually young because they usually get darker as they get older. Have you met some pigs in person? Uh, no. No? I don't think so. Do they have pigs at the zoo? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe some exotic pigs. Huh? Like hogs or something. And you can be thinking about what color you want to paint Bacon's bandana. I've seen bandanas in all different colors. What color bandanas do you usually see? Uh, well, I'm going to paint mine blue, but I don't usually see it. That oh, okay. Really anywhere. Well, that's just fun. Actually, the one he has on, let's see, in this picture, the one he has on is red. Let's see if he always wears red. No, he has a blue one on here. That looks kind of like a cowboy. <laughs> and in this one, he has a ruffle on. <laughs> so you can make his bandana or ruffle any color you want. Let's see, that one it's red again. So any color is good. Kendall, I don't think we told um, Zanera, uh, am I saying it right? Let me double check. Zanera, where you live. Tell her where you live. Um, I am. Um in the, um, I'm, I'm in the kitchen right now. No, I mean, what city? Oh, I don't, I In what state? Well, and, 
Kentucky. In Kentucky, right. Do you know where Dallas, Texas is? Uh, no. Well, you know what state it's in, right? If it's in Dallas, Texas, what is the state? Texas. Texas. When I think of Texas, I think of cowboys, but I know that isn't <laughs> probably accurate because there's lots of, lots of big cities in Texas and cowboys wouldn't be in the big cities, I don't think. So, um, Dallas is a big city. You know, one thing you can do with your brush, I'm getting ready to change colors too, is um, when I dip in the water and swish it around a little bit on the bristles, then I wipe it off on a clean paper towel that I have sitting here too. So I get all the pink out of it. Now I'm ready to color his um, bandana. Um, I think I'm gonna give him a purple bandana. Got the bandana? Yep. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna color his tongue a little bit. You can make it red or you could make it, whatever color you want. Orange. <laughs> that will look kind of silly. <laughs> it might. I made an orange popsicle or something. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that makes your tongue. If it was yellow, maybe a yellow popsicle. Yeah. The tongue aren't usually yellow. <laughs> okay, I think we need to go back and color his. As in, I think I'm going to make none blue. Let's color those. That's what I did too. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. You can either make the lips black or I'm going to, I think I'm going to color my lips and his nostrils in with black and go back to the marker to do that because it's a little easier to be precise and do the same with his lips he looks kind of like he has lipstick on <laughs> black lipstick <laughs> all righty and then the same with your propeller hat, whatever color you want to make that. I think I'm going to put mine orange in something. Let's try every other space a different color. Let's see, I'll make that green. So now that looks really good. You going to color his beanie in? And if Catherine starts just talking about, I'm sorry if that happens. <laughs> Where is Catherine? Uh, she's in here now. Oh, she okay. was outside. Oh, okay. She wanted to see what you were doing, I'll bet. She knew what I was doing, but she just oh. came in. Oh, okay. And something you can do to give bacon some shading on different parts of his body is dip your paint in a color that you'd like the shading to be in like maybe i'd like to darken the pink that's on the inner side of his ear so i'm like, already dark <laughs> okay well i'll just tell you about it and then when you're ready you can do it what you can do is dip your paint in the color that you want and then take your brush on the paper towel and wipe most of the color off of it and then put your shading down on top of the area that you want shaded a little bit and you can add like an 
a reflection in there. And I'm going to give him some rosy cheeks with some shading. Just put a little bit of red on it, then wipe most of it off, and then take it and put over his cheeks. I didn't get quite enough on there, or my black wiped out really well. And kind of down the sides of his body, you can give him some shading and real lightly. You don't want much paint on your brush at all or it'll be too heavy. Now we're going to make kind of a fun background for him. And what I thought we'd do is go back with your pencil as soon as you're ready. And we're going to draw some squiggly lines all the way down the page. And I'll highlight it in marker. Then we're going to draw like a stripe all the way down the paper and put some circles in it. And do the same thing over here, except we'll put the squiggly line first and the stripe second with the circles in it, kind of like a polka dot pattern. And then if you want to go back and make your squiggly line one you can color in, you just draw another line beside it. And now you have like a ribbon that just kind of finishes your picture if you want to do that. And if you want to go back and color it in, it'll just add some more interest to your painting. And actually, for the little dots, I would probably use the markers instead of the paintbrush because it's much easier to get into those spaces. I'm going to use like yellow or orange, rather. That's not yellow, that's orange. Orange, I'll make every other one orange. Uh oh, we lost Sunira. <laughs> Her pig looks really good. Can you see it, Kendall? Uh no. No. I can only see people I can only see the people that are talking. Oh, okay. Hold yours up for one second. I'd like to see it. Okay. Good job. <laughs> All right. Are you finished or are you still working on some of it? I'm still working on some of it. Okay. Hold it up um, again so I can have long enough to take a picture of it. Okay. Bring it down just a little bit. More. More. Okay. All right. What does find that can go down? So I hope it's good. <laughs> is that a necklace he has on, or is that a collar? Or oh, that's the it's bandana top. It's a necklace. Okay. Very cute. Did you ever have pop beads? Uh, no. No, they were popular when. I was a little girl. I don't know about when your mom was a little girl, if they were or not. They would be beads that would look like that, and they pop together with a little, um, kind of like a Lego thing, you know, that you just put them together. <clears throat> oh, that's very cool. You've got a straight line. Is that tape? Okay, that's a good idea. That's how to get a really straight line, isn't it? 
Wow, this is a lot of coloring in. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> that much coloring in. I just painted it. It took it 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 took it was a lot faster. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm gonna try that. I'll switch. Yeah, you're right. That's faster. Are you completely done, Kendall? Uh, yeah. Okay, good job. Got one more line here. Um, oops, got out of the lines a little bit. Well, I did it more than you, really. <laughs> Guess what we're going to paint next week? What? We're going to paint an octopus. And I'm going to share a story about an octopus with you. Have you ever seen an octopus? Uh, not in real life. Not in real life? Didn't you go to the aquarium? Uh, yeah, but I don't remember. Don't remember if they had an octopus or not. They might not have. And all barriums have octopus. Mm. Octopus are kind of a funny creature. They are. They're the only they're the only animal in the world with eight arms. With eight arms. And you know like what fire O stands for? Huh? The, part of the octopus's name is Octo, O-C-T-O, -O, yeah. and Octo means eight. Yeah. All righty. How you doing? Okay. Zanira, are you about done? You did a wonderful job. Turn it around to the uh, camera so we can see the other side of it, the right side. Yes. Okay. That's gorgeous. Wonderful job. Well, do you think you'd like to paint an octopus and hear a story about an octopus next week? Sure. Sure. Wonderful. All right, Zanera, I didn't ask you how old you are. How old are you, sweetheart? Six. You're six? So is Kendall. You all are exactly yeah, the same age. I'll be seven in September. When will you be seven, Zanera? In December. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All righty. Well, my little painters, did you have fun? Yes. Yes. Did you, Zanera? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for coming today. And if you want to do some more painting with us next Monday, we'll be here at three o'clock and I'll have a Zoom link for you to get on with us at that time. All righty. Okay. Okay. I'm going to click off and I had fun with you ladies. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.